What's up everyone? So today we're gonna go hiking in Onion Valley. I've never been there before, so it's gonna be a new adventure. We're gonna go see cool things while hiking and hopefully water, like water and like green. But we gotta do two things first. One, we gotta get something to eat because I'm hungry. And two, we gotta go meet up with Helen. So let's go. Ooh, sausage, egg McMuffins. Anything else? That's it. 433. Peace out today. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Food's done. Now to get Helen. Okay, so we're on our way up to Onion Valley. The road is actually pretty good. It's steep um, and windy, so I wouldn't bring a big RV up, would you, Helen? No. Yeah, no big RVs. I mean, if you really wanted to, I guess you could try. But the road turned to one lane. And I'm gonna hand it to Helen so she could see the road sunk in. Oh, wow. <gasps> Holy crap. Wow. That completely gave away. It, was, it got a lot of water up here. Yeah, it looks like there was uh, water coming down there, and I guess it washed the... Oh, look at that. Yep. It washed the road out. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. Wow. There's a lot of people here. I wonder if there's going to even be parking near the trailhead. I hope so. But I wonder why there's so many people up here. Memorial Day weekend. I've never seen it like this before. Okay, so we made it to Onion Valley. It's about an hour and a half north of Ridgecrest, uh, or 30 minutes uh, west of Independence. Basically, you go into Independence, there's a sign that says uh, Onion Valley Road, and that's what you gotta take. So, uh, from Independence is where you wanna start at if you're looking for a town and how. So here is the trailhead, Onion Valley. Like I said, it's, we're here and Independence is here. So uh, when you're going into Independence, you take a left onto Onion Valley Road and you hit up here. So Independence is the town you're looking for if you're looking how to get here. And Helen said there's actually two trails. You can go to a waterfall. Waterfall and then you can go to John Muir Lake, I believe. And which we're going to... Oh no, it's Kearsarge Pass. Kearsarge Pass is where we're going. Okay. Yeah. So we're not going to go to the waterfall? No. Unless you Why? want to. Why? Well, because about a mile and a half up, it starts getting really steep and the trail tapers off. And I don't think we're equipped for that kind of hiking yet. Plus I want to go to a cool lake. So. Okay, we're going to go to the lake. All right, let's start the trail. Okay, so there's the trail split. We're going Kearsarge. Because we got a late start today, and because it's rougher, we're not going to do Golden Lake, Golden Trout Lakes. Uh, but the view is gorgeous. Yeah, so we came across this. Someone left their key. I wonder how they drove away. <laughs> or maybe they're still on the mountain. Hopefully they see their key. But check this out. Helen says that she's never seen this many people up here on the weekend. And there is a lot. But the view keeps getting better and better. These are some of the Hello, things we up. expect with summer. <laughs>
skipping rocks is always fun. All right, so this is gorgeous up here. Uh, the trail actually goes quite a bit longer, but because it's getting later, we're gonna cut it short and head back, but it's gorgeous. Uh, for all of those who wanna know how, uh, how high it is, it is uh, 10,000 feet in altitude. <laughs> So uh, it's pretty up there. We'll get the altitude from the uh, parking lot too and uh, we'll figure out how far this particular route is like from this spot to the, uh, the parking lot. But, yeah, thank you for choosing this one. This was good. Yeah. I like this. And good. my shoe's getting wet now. So <laughs> let's, let's move. Let's go. And go get dinner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, see you at dinner. Okay, so it was a really good hike. I enjoyed it. I did too. Yeah, it was beautiful. Good choice. I'm glad we went here. Um, for all those that wanted to know, the elevation you start at is 9,200 feet. So it's 800 uh, feet of elevation that you climb over about a mile and a quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a half a mile of kind of flat ground-ish that you get to to get to the lakes. So it's about a mile and a quarter. And that's not super steep, but that's um, it's definitely up. Yeah, but if you're up for it, it's a good day hike trail. Yeah, it is. It is a good day hike trail. In fact, you saw the parking lot. It's completely full. So, Okay, well, thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked the video, like. If you uh, want to see more, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you later. Uh, I mean, you can probably walk over there.